All right, Shalom. 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 We, the Hebrew Israelites, we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall, the daughter of Babylon, and to preach the good news, meaning the gospel, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, as always, before we get started, we want to give all praise, our honor, to the head apostles, Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I give, keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith. That's right. Regardless of what the people hear or what do they forbear. All right, back in the open forum. All right, just preaching and prophesying the gospel, the good news. All right, to the children of Israel, man. Twelve tribes, starting off with the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Judah. All the, all right, the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. Okay. Appreciate that, the water. Right. Isaiah, chapter 61. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he has sent me to bind up the, the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right? And the prison is, is the land of our captivities, man. Okay? Because we're not really able to fully live in this society. All right? We're under another our enemy's uh, rulership. Okay? And they impose all different types of uh, unrighteous laws and decrees in order to keep us further oppressed and at the bottom of society, man. That's okay, right. so this is our prison. Even though we don't have chains upon our necks, all right, we're able to, uh, to you know, go freely wherever we want to go. For the most part, within the United States, the cont uh, con contingent United States of America. All right, this is really just one large open air uh, prison for us, man. All right, we don't control nothing here. We're not, you know, we're not in any uh, high positions in society. Okay, and if, if, if the few of us that are, it's because they sold out to Esau, man. They're controlled. All right. And that's edification real quick if I could. Yep. We, we really don't have no help here. We have no military might. Yep. We have no, no country of origin uh, that's, that's recognized, because we know we're, we're the 12 tribes of Israel, but recognized in the, in the eyes of the people, we have no country of origin. But you got people out here saying, no, we got it. This, this is us. You know, we got it made. Like, how? Right, right. Like, when, uh, I, I know you guys remember that Stop the Asian Hate. Them people went back home and called them Chinese, and, and what happened? They they, they, uh, they they put all that, that um them Asian hits they was, they was breaking out in 2020. See, right, we, right. we can't call our home country and be like, yeah, they're over here lynching us, they're burning us, they're, uh, they're redlining us, you know what I mean? We can't call on nobody for help, so to speak. That's how you know that this is an arrest, man. Right. That's right. how you know, man. That's right. We can't call, we can't call on no one for help, militarily-wise, economically-wise, economically either. You get a lot, bro. But no, you go ahead. You got that. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, that's the reason why the Lord called us a worm. Okay, he said, he said fear thou not. Thy worm, Jacob. That's right. All right, because what is a worm is like a, a creature that has, you know, it doesn't have spikes or anything. Defensive. You know, it doesn't have strong teeth to, to bite. You know, eat every uh, pretty much most animals within the animal kingdom, or within the even the uh, kingdom of the insects, they have some kind of a defense mechanism. That's right. All right. But Jacob doesn't have that. Our only defense is the heavenly Father. All right. Yahweh, okay, and his son Yahweh Shai. You get that Hebrews 13 and 14. Okay, go, go ahead and bring that up. Okay, okay. All right, this is um, the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 14. And it reads, For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. All right. right, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. All right, as he said, okay, we don't have no military, we don't have a land. You know, people people will say people will say, "Oh, go back to Africa, nigger." All right, that's that, Africa's not our homeland either. We were, we were exiles there, right, you right, know, right, after right, 70 right. AD, man. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. even even in the so-called uh, Latino-run countries, it's mostly the conquistadors, the descendants of conquistadors, which are Edomites. That's true. The Spaniards that are the ones that are ruling. All right. So, like I said, man, you know, we we really don't have nowhere. Uh, that we can call our own, man. All right? right, this is our prison, but we, we don't have a continuous city, but we seek one to come. Right. Okay, New Jerusalem, and really that's going to be the whole earth. All right, New Jerusalem is the people, but the whole earth is going to be ours. Really? Okay. okay? The, the, the Lord, the Lord said that the, the, the whole heavens, everything belongs to Him. All right, the heavens, the earth, everything, man, and we're joint heirs of that. Okay. True. So, NWO. Right, right. Appreciate. That's it. Beautiful. All right, go, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh. All right, this is the book of Micah, chapter 2, and verse 10. And it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right. You have to arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. All right, so you got to depart from this place, man, spiritually. And the Lord is going to come 
and he's gonna bring get, uh, get us up out of here in the physical, man. I right, to escape the nuclear fire because this whole place has to be devoured. All right, this whole place has to be destroyed, man. All right, there, there's no you cannot have two kingdoms that rule together. All right. Go ahead, yeah. precept, roughly paraphrasing. Yep. Just to back up what Brother Yawasaf said, it's, it's a, a precept in the Bible that says, "Come out of her, my people, so that you will not be partakers in her plagues and judgments." Revelation 18. Revelation. Yep. You know, let me get that real quick. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bring it out. I think it's Revelation 18 and four. Yep. Con, con, yep. Yeah, we, you know, we commanded to do something here in Babylon. Yep. And that's that's actually, that, that verse specifically, just to clarify, that's talking about when the Savior actually comes, he's going to literally beam his people up out of here. That's right. right. Yeah, just, I just want to clarify that. But we are to depart from this place spiritually uh, before that time comes. That's right. Because that's right. Right. if you're not right in the Spirit, the Lord is not going to, he's not going to spare you. That's right. All right. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. Right, receive none of her plagues. Right. That's right. Yep, so, so why? Because of the plague that's going to uh, uh, come and destroy America, by the Great, the house of the thief, is talking about the ICBM nuclear fire. Okay, so when the Lord comes, we know according to biblical prophecy, he's going to come with the chariots, the thousands of heaven, you go to Revelation 1 and 7? Yep. Okay, the so-called so UFOs, all right, that's what they call them, which that's what they are because they're unidentified flying objects. That's what the acronym UFO stands for, all right? Yeah. These are these are uh, vehicles that Esau or no one on this earth has the technology uh, to even comprehend what they can do, what they are, all right? So, yeah, the Lord, when he comes back, he's going to come with the clouds of heaven, the chariots, and he's going to deliver his elect, all right? Go ahead and bring that precept out. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. Right, right. So he comes with the clouds of heaven. These are the vehicles of our salvation. Okay, that's the opening of the prison. Because right. as of right now, we don't have no, there's no way out of here. That's our only ticket out of here is on those chariots. That's right. Okay, well, we, can't, we can't just fly and go uh, take a flight to another land, and now we're free. No matter where we go throughout the four corners of the earth, the curses are going to follow us. Okay, we're still going to be being ruled over by these different heathens. All right. Kind of precept. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 20. It says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Right. right. Ind indignation, meaning righteous anger. Okay. He said, come into my chambers. These are the vehicles of the angels that we just spoke of. All right. This is the only ticket out of here. Okay. And that's what we come to preach about. That's the gospel, the good news, among many other things. All right. Being free from this final captivity, the prison house of America, Babylon the Great. That's right. All right. And receiving salvation from the righteous anger, the indignation of the Lord. Okay. The ICBM nuclear fire. Some more meat on the gospel. Yep. Uh, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21. Yep. It reads, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Right, so the Lord is coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Hey, uh, if you want any brothers, matter of fact, can you, one of you brothers give me a definition of the word punish on Google? All right, read, the, read that scripture one more time. Bubba, sure. it's on Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21, and it reads, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Right. Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists, the Ancient of Days, the Everlasting. He has no beginning, He has no end. I, oh. Bahashem, in the name, uh, Yahweh Shai, meaning He saves or He delivers. Okay, He is the Savior. All right, He's coming from his, out of His place right, to do what? To punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Right, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. For the iniquity, what does iniquity mean? Iniquity in the Greek is the word anomia. All right, it means lawlessness, the condition of without law. That's how people live. Okay, they, 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 don't, they don't have any reverence for the law, such as commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right, any of the commandments that the, that the Lord has given to us, they have no reverence for that, no respect for that. May I speak to you with your respect? You want, you want to ask this question? Yeah. Okay, what go ahead. What does the prohibited fruit mean? Say, say, it, say it again? What does the prohibited fruit mean? The prohibited fruit? Yes. The knowledge of good and evil. Wait, what does that mean? The knowledge of good, what does that mean? What does it mean? The yeah. knowledge of doing wickedness. No, but what is wickedness? What is wickedness? Anything that goes against the commandments of the Heavenly Father. And what goes against the Father? The laws that are written of that were given to Moses. That's right. 
Do you guys know that the, have you guys heard of uh, the Gnostics? The Gnostics, we've heard of them. Yeah. I am a Gnostic Christian. Okay. She, oh, I was wondering what that was, okay. okay. Jesus okay. Christ gave these to one of the other apostles. That means two down, three up. You said two down, three up? Yeah, you talking down. about as, as above, so below? I'm about to say, that's not like them sonic Jesus Christ yeah, that's, pointing that's, the finger right here in his heart and look this. Are you, are you talking about the image where where uh, where uh, JC is is holding up his hands? He has one like one like one up going, one, one up it's going. Blasphemy. Something like that close, that's, but then right. he's, they have in the right? Catholicism, they have this yep. picture. That's a blasphemy. The, the holy heart of Jesus Christ. He's pointing <laughs> his finger right here in the heart and look this, three, two. One, two, three, two. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we, okay. we, I, we don't really, we don't subscribe to that. Okay. So. The prohibited, prohibited fruit is having passion and desire and having sex and you're committing a sex with energy. I have a question That's for you. That's the problem right there. You we said, don't do it. You said sex is the forbidden fruit? Yeah, we, we, when we were in Eden, the fourth dimension. Eden? Eden, the fourth Genesis dimension. Genesis 1 and 18. It's higher, yeah. higher. We I'm are in the third right. dimension, the physical, the sinners. Right, right. We were practicing God's sex. Transmutation of sexual energy, transmutation of sex, not ejaculating. We know, you know, the, the Lord said, the Lord said to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, how, how are you going to do that? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. He, he meant fatherland means to create the men of the seventh day. We are creation of the sixth man day. So we that's the problem. I found it. It's uh, Genesis 1 and 28. Spirit, I'll get this one you call for. Okay. First, Ger uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 18. Yes. No. Read it. No, he, he's got it. He's yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. Genesis yeah. chapter 1 and yeah. verse 28. It yeah. says, And Yahweh blessed them, and Yahweh said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and the fowls of the yeah. air, and over every living thing that moveth upon multiply the earth. Multiply the earth means to create the men of the second you, day. Hear, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. Did, you, did, you hear, did you hear the scripture? Yes, hear. Okay, yeah. what is this talking about? See, the Bible is totally symbolic. It's full of carbon. Back up a little bit. We did it to the, like a newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big mistake. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. It's so a lot of things in the Bible that means. is symbolic. You are right, but uh, certain things are meant to be taken literal. Like exactly. he says, like, be fruitful and multiply. That was literal. You know? No, no, no. That means. Yeah, because you know. Have, have you heard of the elect? Have yes. you heard of something called the elect? Yes, sir. You know that in the prophecies that part of the reward for the elect yes. is seven women taking hold of one man? Well, what do you think they're going to do with those women? No, that's a lie. What? That's, no, that's, this that's is a lie? The real photo of Jesus Christ. That's, that's hey, a photo, a photo of, you. That's a photo of, of, of the Savior? Yes. That, is that what the Bible says he looks like? No, no, no. We, he was a, a Gnostic bishop. Gnostic bishop. Okay, he actually, is that, hold on real quick before you, before you, let me ask you this question. So he asked you a, a question. If you can answer yes or no, it would be appreciated. So if you can show us a picture again, yes. so you can put it on camera. Yes, Hang on. Put it on camera. He says he says this is a picture of, of who he calls Jesus. The, the Gnostic Bishop, Jesus Christ. This is this is the, the Gnostic Bishop. You see the similarities, man? <laughs> Same, yeah, he said this is an original photo. Where, how did they take the picture at that time? Because they didn't have cameras. No, back then. read. It okay. was in in an emerald rock. It was designed by the Vatican of the Popes. It was uh, like a trade between a, 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 a Muslim king when he, the, the, the Romans took his his okay. son slave. He had to pay that uh, picture. For, but, but, you, but, you, you, but hang on, but you realize the Bible says he looks exactly opposite of this, right? Yes, yes. So, so is the Bible lying or are the, the Bible is Okay. 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 No, 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 no. Give me Titus. Give me Titus three and ten. I want to laugh on that point real quick. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Scripture, scripture says, "Let your yes, yeas be your yeas, and your nays be your nays." Yes, so we're asking you yes or no questions. If you can't answer yes or no, that's a red flag. Okay. Now that would indicate that you that that, that you 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 uh, you're coming with your private interpretations. Well, well, another thing too. Hold on. He, he said he said that the Bible is symbolic. Which, Total symbolic. It's full of parables. A lot. It is. Right, it right, right, is. Right. But. When, but m many men, Daniel and John the Revelator, yes. both seen the Savior, and they described him having a physical body with clothing on it. Yeah. So that's, I got that's, Revelations 1 and 15. You got Titus yes. 3 and 10, too. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Okay. Yeah. All right. So hold, hold, hold Titus 3 and 10. You said you got Revelation 1. Revelation 1 and 15. Okay, start at verse 14. Okay, let me go, go to verse 14. You can start, you can start at verse 13 on huh? Bible show? Yeah, okay. Start at 13. Yeah, here's, here's your picture. Thanks. All right, Revelation 1 and 13. Yes, sir. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, cloth with a garment down to the foot, okay. and girded about a pax with a golden yes. girdle. And that, and that, and that, that's one 
That's what the golden girl looks okay. like. Right. It's like a belt, warrior belt. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. Guarding his midsection. Uh -huh. yes, Fourteen first. His head and his hair was white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as flame of fire. That's right. Okay, so that is, is that does that hold on? Does that image that you okay. have uh, Show us your uh, image again. correlate or correspond with this uh, this image? No, it isn't. Okay. Right. Okay. Now let's go. Okay. Let's keep let's keep reading what he said. The Bible says he looks okay. like. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Oh, and I want to read one thing because I heard, I heard a lot of Christians say, well, his eyes weren't actually red. Okay. Yeah, but this is a physical description because this another description of him is in Genesis. Okay. I'm gonna read it right quick. Genesis chapter 49. Brown brass. Hang on one, one sec. Genesis, Genesis chapter brown. 49 and verse uh, 11. Mm -hmm. Actually, I read at 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. A scepter represents power. Okay. okay he, he's the he's gonna be the almighty king of the earth. Okay. A scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding his his foal unto the vine and his ass his colt with the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood okay. of grapes. Verse twelve. Here's the point: his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth his teeth white with milk. So it's given a physical description of okay. who the world calls Jesus. Okay. That's right. All right. That's right. This no, is closer, this is closer to what the Savior. Bible says he looked like. That yeah. other image. That's. I don't know if you heard of this guy named Caesar Borgia or Borgia. That's exactly. actually who that is, the okay. image you showed. Oh, he sh can I see that? You mind yes. if, I look, if I take a look at this? Take a picture. Now, I want to ask you this. Yes. Okay, does, does Gnosticism, does it contradict the Bible in any way? A lot, because most of it's symbolic. Isaiah 8 and 20. And the parable. Oh, gotcha. you, you, said, you said a lot. You said a lot. So that, that indicates yes. This, this is, this is yes. the sign okay, that you Okay, okay. You, 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 you meant that. You, you meant that it does contradict. This is the translation of this right here. Okay. okay. Uh, read, read me Isaiah 8 20 real quick. The Gnosis, uh, All right. Let's Gnosis, bring it out. And you will find the truth that two will be greater. John 8 32. Jesus, after resurrection, he throws to the Gnosis, trips a bit to Santiago, the judge, John, and Pedro. Clement, uh, Jesus Christ, our Savior, the, the, the only Son of God. Oh, and we still got Titus 3. We, we need, we need those he incarnated okay. on planet Earth. He teaches the mysteries of Gnosis, or the, the knowledge of the Father, which is the truth. We open up the, the path to the description and the relation to them for the whole humanity. But see, the, the Lord ain't come for all of you, man, anyways. Hey, go ahead and bring out Isaiah 8 and 20. Okay, Isaiah 8 and 20. Okay. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, yes. if they speak not according to this word, okay. it is because there is no light in them. Right. And okay. the, sa the Savior himself, he said the same thing. He believed in everything that was written in the Law and the Prophets. Okay. Right. All right, and so did Apostle Paul as well. Now, so with that being said, a brother bring out Titus 3 and 10 real quick. Okay. I'm going to start since uh, 9. Okay, that's fine. Titus 3 and 9. Get up. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. That's right. 10. Warn a divisive person once, and then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. That's eleven. Is that in the KJV? No, that's that's not. That's I can not. read it. Read, for read you. in the KJV. Yeah, read it. Yeah, it's, okay. it's all good. So it yeah. says Titus three and nine. Read, just read verse ten. Just read verse ten. Verse ten. No, that's, 10. Okay. Good, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, you good. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Right. We are so, heretics because. We read the Bible in a esoteric, esoteric way. You guys are beautiful people, but you read the Bible the exoteric way, symbolism. We are taught with the same. Jesus Christ said it. Thank you, Father, for having Dixie from the intellect and smarts and sitting for the base. What does it mean, the base? What does the base mean? That's the key word there. The poor to me. No, 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 no. no. What does yeah. the base mean? We are the trying the esoteric the meaning, me. not the exoteric meaning. Remember, Jesus, Christianity is divided in two. Exoteric Christianity, which is the one written by what symbolism, and there's the inner Christianity, the esoteric Christianity, the same. Do we practice the inner Christianity, the esoteric Christianity? Okay, so the real, the real, the real biblical context of babe is is the meek. The Lord has uh, revealed His mysteries to the meek, not 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 those who appear to be mighty in the scriptures. Okay, not those who appear to be uh, in, in a prominent position of teaching people the scriptures, but those who are humble. That's why that parable. There's a parable in the scriptures where the Messiah said um, that. Uh, uh, this was that parable where where uh, the Messiah said that uh, 
basically it's the same parable where I, he I, said I he, yeah yeah he he would he would give he he, he uh, uh out, out of the mouth of, out of the mouth of babes okay yeah that's, that's one perfect, yeah. yeah right right yeah but right, he, right. he said he said the base though he didn't say babes. oh no he said base he said no base. babes no no I heard no, I heard he said babes, babes. okay, yeah. okay. okay. and then he said babes should not try uh, raise it in their hair because hair means chastity. Okay. Hold up. Jesus Christ, Samson had long hair because that means chastity. And we don't practice that. We are ejaculated. He, he, we, he, he was a, uh, uh, Samson was a Nazarite, though. He, he took a Nazarite a Gnostic, He was a Gnostic, too. Okay. Those well, Bibles were written by the Gnostics for the Gnostics. Right. Other prophets okay. were Gnostics. That's why they were uh, persecuted, crucified, uh, and stoned to death. Okay, well, Jesus look, I'm, look, I'm going to be straight up with you, man. We, we don't believe in, in Christianity, period. Okay. And we don't believe in Gnosticism. Okay. So, good thing. That's that's cool. We, 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 we can just end it right there, my man. Okay. If, if you if you want to go preach, you're welcome to set up a, a, just a, a site anywhere. a couple anywhere. more questions, and I'll, I'll leave. Go ahead and ask, yeah, go ahead and ask your question. Babes means, we apply the esoteric meaning to babes, means the initiates or the Gnostics. Right, That's what I mean. Right where, where, where? The initiates or the Gnostics. Where is that in the scriptures? We have the Bible, the Gnostic Bible. This thing. Sure. This thing. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Don't okay. explain. You guys okay. come with this Bible. I'll ask one more time. That's yes. cool. Okay. That's cool. Where, what specific scripture uh, in the Bible proves what you just said right there? I got it's got my verb right there. I don't, I don't have the Bible. I could go right there if I had the Bible. That's the whole point. Right there. That's what oh, we read. Let me read 1 okay. Corinthians 11 and 14. Yes. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? That's, that's well, 1 Corinthians that's, that's 11 the, and 14. Okay. That's, that's, that's symbolic. That is the exoteric way. No, we are praying the, you know, the Satan Christian, which is the esoteric Christianity. My man, so you're bringing in Satanism uh, to uh, our camp. Uh, 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 hey, hey, bro, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Okay. Listen, we have already we already read the scripture, Titus 3 and Titus three and 10. Right. A man is a heretic, acknowledge once or twice, after that, reject. So look, there's no there's no, need, no more need to talk. If no you want to teach what you want to teach. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Just one more. Hold on, I, look, look, I'll leave. listen what I'm telling yes. you. If you want to teach what you want to teach, you're welcome to go set up a camp over here. This is not, we're not here to learn from anybody. We're teachers of the Bible. Well, I'm, I'm so, here to learn from you. Okay, so when you learn, somebody give me Sirach, the fifth chapter. Just one question, I'll leave. I'll say. promise you. In regard to Leviticus 15, what does Jehovah tell to Moses and Aaron to not to do, to do, to, to, to start doing the, to the, 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 the people of Israel not to do? What does, in Leviticus 15, yeah, chapter? what does he prohibit to the people of, of, of Israel not to do? Okay. We all do it. We are nothing but Have you ever heard of, of Simon us. Magnus? He's yes. The, he's the so-called creator of, of Gnosticism and he's the so-called Edomite and it was created in the first century AD. Adam and Eve were Gnostics. He probably doesn't know what Edomite means. Yeah, you know what Edomite oh, is. Do you yeah. know what Edomite is? AD means after the yeah. death of... Adam and Eve were Gnostics. Adam and Eve were not right, but, Gnostics. But do you know what AD means? Gnosticism yes. was created in the first century AD. That means that was after Yahweh Shai came and already went. And the scripture says there's only one way. If another man tries to seek up, climbing up another way, then he is a liar and a thief. St. John 10 and 1. And, right. and, and this is history. It's a man called Simon Magnus. He was the creator of what you follow, Gnosticism, man, which was forced on, uh, on the so-called indigenous people of the world. If you, if you know anything about indigenous history, they forced a lot of these so-called religions we believe today on us. Gnosticism, yes. okay. Buddhism, so we'll, Islam. Let's go back to Leviticus 15. What does oh. God prohibit? Sir, sir. We we'll leave you we'll with this. Do it. We'll leave you well, with what's, this. Hold on, what verse is that specifically? Leviticus 15. 15 and what? Uh, it's, just, a whole, it's a whole chapter. We're not going to read through the whole uh, chapter. It, if you're going to teach something, you got to know exactly where it's at. Not sure which article, but it tells you. Uh, God Jehovah tells Moses and Aaron to, to tell the, the people that they're not to do ejaculation and sexual unity. We all do it. You said not to do what? Sexual and sexual unity. That's evil sex. We practice evil sex. When we were in the fourth dimension, Eden, we used to transmit energy. We turn into evil sex. We started ejaculating sex. We could oh, oh, ejaculation. ejaculation. Yes. Oh, That's okay. Evil oh, sex. Like we all do it. We all so, so how? So, oh, so, so if nobody ejaculated, if, not, if, no, if, no, if nobody ejaculated, if nobody ejaculated, nobody would exist. Hold yeah. on. Well, yeah. If that was the case, so why in Romans chapter one verse three does it say that the Messiah is the seed of David? And we look up the word seed is a Greek term sperma, which literally, which, which is where the word sperm comes from. So then that means that then that means that the Messiah is evil then, because he came out of the loins of Joseph. No, so but yeah, I, I, another thing too, Judah had two sons, Onan and Er. All right, he he told when when uh, Onan died, uh, the, the heavenly Father told Er to go and sleep with his brother's wife, so that they could have children. His bloodline could continue. 
So how, how, how is he going to do that without ejaculating? He killed him because he did not ejaculate. That's the reason we yeah, so separate, we, we, we practice inner Christianity, the esoteric Christianity, you guys practice exoteric symbolism, you don't get it. No, 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 no. Hey, I'll leave you with this. It's all good. I'll leave you with this. Go, this is go, the book man. of Amos, chapter oh, 3, verse goodness. 3. Can two walk together oh. except they be agreed? We don't agree. So exactly. no, that's why we can't walk together. Yep. All right, all right. Take care. Yep. I should, I should, I really, really, like, really, somebody give me uh, Second John 1 and 10. Y all, y all, y all, I, sh I shouldn't, I, we, we shouldn't even say take care because yeah, that's why the Lord says bid him not get yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why I just say, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. bro. I, yeah, I, I'd be giving the salutation. You said Second John? Yeah. My question was to him. Second John 1 and 10. That's, 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 that's where was he going? Early. Where was he headed right now? Because he was very well prepared. You said he's very well prepared? Yeah, yeah. He really wasn't. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, can yeah, I ask him? I said, he said, read the book, 15. I said, what scripture? He, I, he I don't can't know. tell us nothing. Like but what I no, meant good, was, like, it's like he was, he was ready to teach, but not prepared to, to be come. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he didn't know where to go. Well, it, it, the stuff it, he said was related to the Bible. And right? real quick, it says in Colossians four no. and six, you know, be uh, 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 your 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 tongue supposed to be seasoned with salt, so you would be able to answer. You know how to answer every man. Rough paraphrase. And then his so-called religion was created by Edomite in the first century A.D. That means after the death of Yahweh. So I got a quick scripture, and I want I want I want everybody to listen to this. Okay. Let's get back on. I got a quick scripture because he said I asked him. I said I told him I said look, we're not here to be taught. We got the truth. If you if you don't agree with us, that's cool. You can go over there and set up your own teaching stand or camp. And go over there and do that. That's fine. He said, I'm here to learn, okay? Well, this is what the scriptures say. If you want to learn, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 6, and verse 32. It says, my son, if thou will be taught, thou, it says, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou will apply thine mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. All right, so if you, if you want to learn, you have to bow thine ear. The Lord gave us two ears. In one mouth, my brother could give me Ecclesiastes chapter five. Right. Stuff from the top. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah if you yeah. want to learn, <laughs> hold on, and I'm gonna say it rough like this. If you want to learn, shut your motherfucking mouth. That's right. right. All right. If you want to learn, you got to be quiet. Okay. You, you can't come up here. You're not about to teach us nothing, man. And, and when I started asking him, I said, "Go to the scriptures to show us what you're saying." He couldn't do it. All right. I had the brother bring out Isaiah eight and twenty to the long. I asked him specifically. I said, "Do does what you teach." Contradict the Bible. He said yes all the time. Yeah, so there's no light in you, my man. That's we're not we don't we're not gonna no. listen to nothing you got to say at that Psalm, point. Psalm 64 and 8 their tongues shall befall themselves, right? You go, go ahead start get Ecclesiastes 5 start from the top verse 1. All right, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. You go. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God Spirit. and be more ready to hear than to give the Sacrifice of fools. Right. <laughs> be, be more ready to hear than to get the sacrifice of fools. Now we we're not we're not gonna cut you down. You know, we're not gonna cut you down, but the truth is this. Alright, we're not out here because the people of the world got the truth. Brother, give me uh, somebody give me Proverbs 24 and 7. Hold what you got. Alright, hold that Ecclesiastes 5. Brother, give me Proverbs 24 and 7, okay? We're not out here to learn from the, the regular, just average, everyday people walking around. And we're not saying we're too good to learn from people, but if you had the truth, you'd be out here teaching. That's why I said. Okay, if you want to teach, you, you're perfectly welcome to go down the street and teach down the street from us. We don't have a problem with that. And we understand we're not here to force our beliefs on nobody, man. If you don't believe, that's cool. You go on down the way. We have no problem with you. Somebody bring out Proverbs 24 and 7. Proverbs 24 7. You know, wisdom is too high for a fool. He opened not his mouth in the gates. Right. right. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. Mm -hmm. If you got the truth, you going to be out there teaching. That's right. So don't try to come around us. You see men out here on the highways and byways prophesying, which we're, we're the only men on the whole earth that's doing this. Now, I'm not talking about us specifically. I'm talking about the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. I've never walked down the street and saw prophets of Jesus. Uh. I've never walked down the street and saw prophets of Yeshua. All right. I've never walked down the street and saw prophets of Gnosticism or whatever that was, man. Right. All right. And if I could don't, don't. You, Go ahead, bring it, it up. It pays to know what the hell you're talking about. Because his religion, like I, I just said, it was created by an Edomite named Simon Magnus, and uh, and back in his time, the uh, the Catholic Church it said saw uh, uh, Gnosticism as a heresy. Yeah. So it just like when you don't know what you're talking about, and someone can literally show you who created your so-called belief, and and you, and you didn't know that, it just makes you look unlearned, man, and it makes you look silly. You know, you, you walking into a, a gunfight with a knife. Exactly. You should you should be ready to prove what you say too. Right. I got a precept on that. The Book of Sirach, chapter five, and verse eleven. 
It says, be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere. Mm. And with patience give answer. That's be right. swift to hear though. Verse 12, if thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Meaning, mm. if you can't back up everything that you say according to the words of the Bible, then shut your motherfucking mouth, man. That's right. All right, shut the hell up, man. That's right, man. I, I, I still got more meat on this. Go ahead, bring it out, man. Go yeah, ahead. Proverbs bring it out. Uh, 24. <laughs> bring it out. One. Be not thou envious against evil men, That's neither right. desire to be with them. That's mm. right. Mm. Mm. For Fire. their yeah. hearts study destruction, mm. and their lips talk of mix mischief. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's all that was, man. That's all it was. A, a, a mouthful of mischief, man. Yep. Coming with the satanic uh, stars and all of that. Right. And Bro, then, they, yeah, they do that damn pentagram on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's the, yo, when he, that's the first thing I said when he came up. Like, yo, you got it. You got a pentagram uh, across his, across his yeah, head, Everybody man. noticed that first. Demons on him, man. Oh. And, and that's oh. like, he took it out, so he, and people... They like, put that vibration out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it. like, we just had to rebuke Satan and get, get him to step. Right, right. and that's why in Numbers 23 and 23, right. it says, <laughs> that shall be no champion to Jacob, right. man. Yep. And on top of that, it says in Exodus 23, we're commanded not to uh, to have any idols, okay, of things... Composed of heavens and underneath the heavens, roughly paraphrasing, man. Yep. That's a that's a fair example of that. So I do use a idolatry, man. Hey, who, uh, hey, you still got that Ecclesiastes five? Yeah. Go so ahead. They consider not that they do evil. Yeah. Read the whole thing again, one through three. All right. Yep. Ecclesiastes five and one. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. All right. Be more so ready they to hear. Consider not that they do evil. All right, be more ready to hear than to get a sacrifice of fools. So they consider right. not that they do evil. I right, keep reading. Two, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou art on earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Right. Yep, keep reading. Third, number three. For a dream coming through the multitude of business. Right. And a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. Yeah. All right now, if a brother could give me Hosea four and six, if that dude was a Jake, but he had a damn pentagram on his neck, man. Right. I com completely, our people confused as hell out here, man. Completely bugged out. And then we, we didn't even really. Here's the thing: you gonna teach something? He started pulling out a bunch of pieces of paper, like that. Like that's supposed to be like, oh, we believe in that now. No, no none, none of that is tried. These words of the Bible are tried and proven, man. Okay. The it's Bible. the reason why this is the number one, the number one bestseller in the world. It's the, the world. reason why right. this book can't be disputed. That's right. These it's prophecies, right. man, these prophecies that are written in this book, some of them have came to pass. And we see the stage being set for the rest of it to come to pass, man. Right. All the other stuff is just a bunch of nonsense. That's all it is. Mm. Uh, somebody read out Hosea 4 and 6. This is the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. That's, That's right. right, That's right. So, so our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That dude was a Jake, but he's completely, Zion completely missing knowledge. the mark, man. And then this dude gonna pull out a picture of Caesar Bourgeois, talking about this is a true image of who they call Jesus Christ. Ninja, no, please. Hey, when, when, when history don't even. Con uh, uh, what, agrees with that. History, history don't agree, and the Bible don't agree with right. it. Right. History hey. says that this dude was painted by Leonardo. Uh, I, I got one too. Let me bring this out yeah, real quick. Ahead, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. This is why this truth is so important, man. That's right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, right, and verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of the anointed. Till we come, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High. All right, so. This, this knowledge is what, is what perfects us unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of the anointed. Now listen to this. This is important right here. Ephesians 4 14. This is one of my favorite scriptures. That we henceforth be no more children mm. tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine mm. by the slight of men mm. and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. That's right. But speaking in truth, speaking the truth in love, we may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Yahweh Shai. Okay, so if we weren't if we weren't rooted in the truth, right. he would be able to come and just tell us any damn thing. Anything. You right. can't just come and tell us anything, man. That's right. And those who right. follow us, because everything we say is according to the Bible. If you can't prove it according to the scriptures, it's no. a bunch of nonsense, right. it's a bunch of crap, man. That's right. All right. 
kind of divides fables. Right. Daniel Harrison. Right, so the, the Lord sent out, he sent out apostles, teachers, prophets. All right, so the, the, the body of the Lord could be perfected in the knowledge, man. Right. So they're not carried away with all kind of madness like that dude came up with that. All right, because that was a bunch of, that was a bunch of madness, man. That's a bunch of nonsense. You got a precept? Yeah, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Read it up. says, for if he that cometh preacheth another Yahweh Shai, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. That's right. Mm. Okay? You know, so if, if, if the loins of your mind are not girded up with truth, okay, you, you, could, you could be uh, uh, brought up, you could be uh, 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 taken, carried away in the, within the snares of these kind of devised fables. Yep. And and uh, uh, Daniel heresies of of non truths man right. of non biblical uh, principles yep. okay and everything that is contrary to the doctrine the true sound doctrine of Yahweh by Shemir man okay right. including uh, 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 the the the, uh, uh, the snare of under the enchantments of the false image of the Messiah which is Chazare Borgia that, right. that 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 character was holding up man that that individual was holding up man right. straight demon Don. hey br uh, brother uh, um, brother Alon get uh, John seventeen and seventeen real quick I got a quick precept. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I'm going to start at verse, uh, I'm going to start at, really from verse 1, matter of fact. Say it out. 2 Corinthians 10 and 1. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Yahweh Shai, who in presence am base among you, but being absent and bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. So... He's just saying, don't don't be confident in the, in, in my flesh. You, even though I'm a harsh speaker, I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm very profitable with the gospel. All right, it's the Lord that's giving me that power to do that. Okay, because we got to fight spirit with spirit. That's all right. All right, it says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right, what that guy came up with is is the doctrines of devils, man. Okay, right. that was that was some demonic crap, and the dude had a damn pentagram on his chest. All right, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. That's right. And that guy was taken by a stronghold, man. All right. And really, that, that Gnosticism stuff, and really Christianity as a whole is a stronghold, man. All right. That plantation Christianity that we were fed on a plantation and that, that the so called natives were fed when they got slaughtered and the land got stolen, that's a stronghold, man. That's something that our people have a hard time letting go of. That white Jesus, you know, the, the uh, we are the world love doctrine. Uh, let me finish this up. 2 Corinthians 10 and verse uh, 5 now, it says, Passing down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing, captive into, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Most High. Okay? So every thought that goes against the knowledge of the Lord, which he asked him directly, I said, before you even go further, does your doctrine contradict the Bible? He flat out told us yes. in many, multiple, all over, the, all the time, this, this contradicts the, the doctrine of the Bible. Okay, he's flat out said that. That's what we're here for, to cast down imaginations, all right, and any high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. It says, and having a, in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So the whole purpose of the Lord giving us his truth is to make us strong so that we have the power to revenge any disobedience, all right? Once we become obedient to the Lord, we are to be out here and cut down these lies with the sword of the spirit, man. Okay? Right. And sanctify the saints with this truth. Go ahead and bring up that John 17 and 17, Bible Show. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy words is truth. That's right. Right. So, so once the Lord has sanctified us, meaning he cleansed us, he's purified us, and now we're obedient to the Lord, he's given us the tools to go out here and destroy these false doctrines, destroy these strongholds, and free our people's minds, man. Because that dude is, he's trapped in that, that Gnosticism, that Edomite crap, man. That's all, that's, go ahead. As, as wicked as the, the Catholic Church is, they even deem Gnosticism as a heresy, as, as I brought out earlier. Yeah. It's, it's all heresy because it's not Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right. But we, like I said, we know how wicked they are, and they even said that Gnosticism stuff, yeah, that, that's, that's heresy. Right. Even they said it, come on, man. Right, so we're setting our people free. we set setting people free. And part of that prison house, when I started off in Isaiah 61, setting our people free from the prison house, part of that is the lies and philosophies of this world, man. That's right. Okay, because, like I said, even though we're not physically in chains, our people are in chains mentally, right. spiritually. All right? That's right. Hold on. On top of that. Hold on, hold on. Everyone rust. 
Hey, let, let me bring this out right quick. Yeah, before you bring it out, I just want yeah, to yeah, go ahead. I got a point I wanted to go ahead and bring out where, you know, you know, to Freddie Stroud, what you said, you know, this, this, this guy accused of being esoteric. Right. All right. What does that which, mean, which, by the way? Yeah, so esoteric means intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people oh, with okay. a specialized knowledge or interest. You see, that, that's, that's spiritual. But the fact that this gospel is only intended for the small remnant spoken about in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 21 and 22. All right. Revelation 7, 14 chapters and so forth. All right. That's why uh, the, uh, the prophet Ezekiel uh, said in Ezekiel 37 and 9, uh, prophesied to the wind. Okay. Because our true audience is audience. We can't see the angels. And they would, they would take, you know, they, uh, who takes our, our uh, message of this gospel, the sound doctrine. Okay, it relates it back to Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. Right. Okay, to to uh, uh, confirm that we are teaching the correct things, man. Okay, right. but when he when he was accusing us of being esoteric, okay, he was coming within the spirit of uh, 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 accusing us of being associated with um, you know the, these Western philosophies, you know, which esoteric is synonymous, you know, with the, with uh, Roman Catholicism. When you when you go into it, we go into the history, okay, which is which which is under the category of divination or associated with uh, right. ish mysticism. Which so could, yeah, yeah, so essentially what he's what he's accusing us of being of being are vain philosophers. And you really go into the uh, to etymology and the meaning of the word esoteric. Okay? Which, but, but he cut himself because that's that's what he's guilty of. Which is ironic because he talked he brought out he uh, quoted first Corinthians the first chapter talking about how uh, the Lord has given the secrets to the base. All right. We're not, we're not, we're not like these wise philosophers and all that kind of stuff. Well, he said base. Yeah, base. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, but he, but he did quote, he did quote that. Yeah, yeah okay, well. okay, okay. Yeah, he, he was, he was saying, uh, he's saying the Lord didn't give it to scholars and all that. We're not scholars and, and we don't get no doctor's degrees and all that right, kind of stuff. We didn't go to seminary school. Right. right, exactly. So it, it, it's ironic, man. But, um, hey, brother, now bring up that uh, John 8 and 32. Okay. John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That's right. Right, right. So, right. so, so the truth is what sets us free, okay. And that's why the Lord set up, like we brought out earlier. He set up apostles and prophets and teachers, okay. To what? To cast down these, these wicked, uh, false doctrines out here, man. I said the children of the Lord that the true saints would not be pushed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Uh, that's right. All right. You can't just come up here and tell us anything, man. We're gonna make you prove it according to the words of the Bible. And hey, and whenever, whenever we do that, if a brother could give me um Hebrews four and twelve. Hebrews four and okay. twelve. Okay. Yep. Uh, whenever, whenever, whenever we make you prove something according to the scriptures, all false doctrine is going to be destroyed. That's, that's the reason why. That's the reason why Christians hate when we go into prophecy, okay? Because prophecy destroys false doctrines. It destroys lies. Go ahead. Yeah, this First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twenty-one says, "Prove all things, fire. hold fast that which is good." Mm, that's fire. Yep. Prove all things and hold fast that which is good. All right. Everything that everything that we say. If somebody challenges us, which is okay, we don't get mind. We don't mind if we get challenged, but we can we can prove it according to the scriptures. We're not going to bring out any points that's not right there in the Bible, man. Okay, go ahead and bring out that scripture. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter four and verse twelve, and it says, "For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, yep. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, right, right. and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts." And intents of the heart. That's right. So this word, it's a sword, and that's what we use it for. We use it to cut down lies, man. That's right. All right to cut down these demons and their false doctrine. False doctrine. I, I got a quick precept. I'm gonna go into the book of uh, Acts, the 17th chapter. Okay, Apostle Paul, he spoke of a church called the Church of Berea. Mm -hmm. All right, and he he gave them a favorable uh, mention because he said they're they're, they're um, uh, separate from the rest of the people I've came to because everything that I bring to them, they go and they search it out in the scriptures to make sure that it's true. Pretty much he was saying, be like the church of Berea. I'm going to go ahead and read that right quick. All right, the book of uh, Acts, chapter 17. All right, and verse, um, let's see, where is it at? Ah, I had it. Okay, here it is. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, and verse uh, 13. It says, but when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge that the word of God was preached by of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. And then immediately... The, the, the brethren sent away Paul, they sent away Paul, as it were, to the sea, but Silas and Timotheus abode there still. And they conduct, they that conducted Paul brought him unto Athens, and received, receiving a commandment unto Silas and Timotheus for to come to him with all speed, and, and they departed. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, and the spirit was stirred in him, he, he saw the city wholly given to idolatry, all right? 
So the city was given to idolatry at that time, man. Okay, now hold up. So like, I gotta find the exact scripture I'm looking for. It says that uh, that they were Berea were more noble than the rest, uh, approving everything in the scriptures. Let me find that right quick. So like, you bear with me. My bad, y'all. I, sh I should have had it ready. No, it's all right. I know it's in Acts 17. I just I don't I can't remember exactly what scripture it is. Okay, here it is. I got it. Acts chapter 17 and verse um, 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. Verse 11, it says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Okay? So when he went to the church of Berea, it said they were more noble than those at Thessalonica because they went and searched the scriptures daily to see if what he was saying was true. They didn't just take it, they didn't take it for his word. All right, so we don't get mad if we get challenged. If you say, whatever you're saying, prove that it's in the Bible. We can do that. All right, we, we actually are very careful to make sure that we don't say something that we can't prove according to the scriptures. That's man. right. Even All the right. scripture says, study to show thyself approved. So, I mean, yep. what Brother Yahusuf is saying is actually spot on. You know, you got to be able to, to, to stand up and be ready to defend this gospel at the drop of a dime. That's but right. That's why it says, study to show thyself approved. Because if you're not studying... Right, all right. Well, if you're not studying your, your own doctrine or what you believe, then how the hell you 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 uh you expect to stand up and defend it? You gotta you gotta study out here, man. And that guy, you can tell he wasn't really well studied in what nah. he believed because he didn't even know an Edomite is the father. You know Simon Magnus. I'm gonna keep bringing it out. You know is the father of his so-called religion. We only got one father of ours, and, that, and that's Yahweh. That, that that's the Abba of of, 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 uh, of what we believe. Yep. Not no Edomite, but oh, you got that. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why St. John 4 and 24, if you can grab that. Yeah, I got you. You know, you know, it speaks about how in these last days the true worshipers will worship, you know, uh, the God of the Bible, okay, and, and, and uh, uh, truth and sincerity, but uh, and the brother going to get it. Uh, First John? St. John 4 and 24. But as you're getting that, you know, you know, just to put expound on the the, uh, the topic of defending the gospel, okay, uh, with, with, with full conviction and proof of the, the, the ministry of the, of the sound doctrine okay you know in, in order in order for you to be uh, 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 uh set up to do that you have to have the holy spirit dwelling within you man the spirit of truth all right this is the book of philippians chapter 1 and verse 15 it says some indeed preach a mashiach even of envy and strife and some also of goodwill so some people okay come up okay uh, uh some people you know look to, to preach you know uh and contention in the spirit of contention okay uh, under the guise of the idea of the messiah to prove how knowledgeable they supposedly are and so forth man okay or you know for for worldly glory and you know uh including uh uh, cl uh clout uh uh worldly fame, glory uh you're right you know uh uh, uh filthy lucre sake and so forth right. all right philippians 1 and 16 says the one preacher mashiach of contention not sincerely supposing to add affliction to my bonds and here's the point in uh philippians 1 and 17 but the other of love knowing that i am set for the defense of the gospel okay so the only ones that are set up to defend the gospel be how by shim and shy are, are, are those okay uh, uh, uh who have the, the spirit of truth dwelling in them man okay associated with love which is uh keeping the law statute commandments man and a part of the commandments okay it, it, the law statute commandments is not pushing false doctrine okay not not operating off of the spirit of the world because that would, that would indicate that you're a friend of the world. And if you're a friend of the world, you're an en you're enemy to the Lord, Yahweh, right. Shem, and Shai. And it says in St. James 4 and 4, man. That's right. It's the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 24. And these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh, Shai, speaking in the red lettering. It says, Yahweh is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty simple. Yeah, right there. Right. Yeah. John, I got you. It's the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 24. And it says, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him, must, not know, you know, it said must, meaning you have to. It says you must worship him in truth, in spirit, meaning it's, it's not even up for debate. It's a certain way Yahweh wants to be worshipped. It's a certain way. Yeah, yeah, because he, because like, like, like we just read out, like you just read, Yahweh is a, you know, you know, Yahweh is that, uh, the ultimate spirit, man, ultimate spirit of truth. All right. In order to speak of that ultimate spirit of truth, you have to have the spirit of truth dwelling in you. And that's why, because that would, that would, no, I'm just going to go to read it real quick. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter um, seven. Yep, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven. Yeah, There's quite a bit of meat here. So okay. bear with me, Lord Bashar. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to verse 24. Okay, it says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion, 
She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is a breath of the power of the Most High, Yahweh, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty, Yahweh. Therefore can no undefiled thing fall into her. So if you're pushing false doctrine of these commonly devised fables and uh, damnable heresies, you don't have the spirit of pureness in you, as in the Holy Spirit. You are you're actually uh, clearly defiled. That's right. Okay? I got a quick precept as well. All right. There's no more. Right, so I can, my bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 26. Uh... It says, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, Yahweh, right. and the image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new, as a refresh, going to the Greek word, kainos. All right. It says, and in all ages, entering into holy souls, mm. she maketh them friends of the Most High, Yahweh, and prophets. Fire, fire. See? So you are not a friend or a prophet of Yahweh by Shem and Shai if you are preaching anything contrary to what is written in the Holy Scriptures, man. Right. Okay, his brother read in Isaiah 8 and 20 earlier. Okay? Which is the reason why you got to be studied. Isaiah, right, more meat on that? Uh, no. Okay, that's the reason why you got to be well studied, man. Let me get this quick precept. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15, the brother uh, brought it out earlier. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, that dude... He went prepared, all right? If you got to say something, you got to be able to prove it according to the Bible. Which, go ahead and bring out that precept, Proverbs 15 and 28, and then, Brother Alain, you get yours. Proverbs 15 and 28. Bring it out. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer. That's right. But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil oh, things. Man. That's right. <laughs> hey, read that again. Hey, yeah, read that again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Run it back, DJ. Bring it out. Let's read it again. Proverbs 15 and 28. Read it loud. The heart of the righteous Study to answer. That's right. But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. Right. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer. All right. That's why we constantly, when we're not making these videos, what are we doing? We're reading, we're watching other brothers' videos. I stu study to show thyself approved. That's right. All right. This ain't a part time thing, man. This is a full time. Hey, this is because you got to understand, we're professionals, right? That's right. What does professional do? A professional, when, he, when he's like a basketball player, right? NBA player. Okay, when he's not in game, he's in the gym shooting, he's lifting weights. His whole life is centered around perfecting his craft. Okay, the righteous study of the answer. Our whole life is perfected, is, 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 is centered around perfecting the, the knowledge of this Bible right here, man. All right, getting the, un, the understanding of these scriptures. Real quick, okay. you make this quick point. Yep. You know, and it, when, when we're not, see, a part of, uh, a part of you know, studying and reading is even uh, holding counsel uh, uh, or brothers that are more seasoned in truth than you yep. that can sharpen your iron and correct you on things that you could potentially go off on or even things that you have gone off gone off on. Right. Like the, we had a conversation the other day about a particular subject where you know about a video that a brother wanted to do. You know, we had a you know had like a little you know mini council and he actually had a council with one of the elders about a particular subject just try to gain clarity on, on a particular subject. Right, right. That's humility Okay, that, that shows humility and, 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 and the fear of Yahweh by Shemin Shai, okay, to, to, uh, to be fervent, okay, and sincere about his word, man. That's right. It's just to ensure there's no hiccups or, you know, or any discrepancies with what we teach. That's right. See that's that? Right. No, that's right. Brother Alon been holding some for a while. So, like you, brother. Go ahead and bring it out. Bring it out. Galatians 5 16. That's right. And it says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the love of the flesh. That's right. That's right. Right. Fire. Yep. For the flesh lust is against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Yeah, that was a, that's a lustful de desire. That was an exhibition of a lustful desire that mm -hmm. this guy just, you know, just exhibited before the entire camp and in the audience. Okay, coming up here with a satanic pentagram around, around his neck and a miss, uh, standing on holy ground, right. okay, in the presence of Yahweh by Shemesh through his prophets, his, his, his vessels, okay, bringing forth this word, showing forth that light in a dark place, in his dark world, and he thought he was doing something, man. Here they come. Contrary to one another. So it's uh, 
Galatians 5, 17. That's right. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are, ye are not under the law. That's right. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, That's right. lasciviousness, yep. idolatry, Come on witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, strife, seditions, here saints. That's right. Yeah, that was that was heresy, that was heresy, heresy. 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 Yeah, right. that, 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 that heresy. Heresy, yeah, yeah. con. So go ahead, huh? And see, real quick, to expand on that, that 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 I think it was a previous verse. You know, saying, you know, uh, 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 you know, where where, uh, you know, where where can you read that again? The the previous verse. There's a point I want to expand on. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions. Oh, okay, I remember heresy. Yeah, yeah, the, the previous words where it mentioned, you know, if you're if you're if, if you're in the spirit, not under the law, meaning if you're in the spirit, you know, in, in the Holy Spirit, you understand that you, uh, with your spirit of truth, you understand that just solely keeping the law of the Ten Commandments is not what's going to save you, man. It's by way of a measure of faith. So, by, by part of our measure of faith is rehearsing the righteous law of the Ten Commandments, man. Okay, and part of that rehearsal is ensuring that we're preaching uh, a sound doctrine, not false doctrine. That was a poor rehearsal right there on his behalf because he doesn't have that faith. But you know, you notice also that. He tried. He tried to. He tried to take away all the law and, and buckle it down to ejaculation. Right. Right. That's right. completely stupid. Yeah. That's why. That's why he got cut when I when, when, uh, uh, that, <laughs> that, when I when I brought out when I quoted well when I quoted that uh, or brought out that Romans one and three it basically essentially referenced the paraphrase in that scripture. In Romans one and three, which speaks about how Yahweh Shai is the seed of David and how further confirming that Yahweh Shai was was created okay by the act of sex. And I was gonna, right. I was gonna cut him even more. I was gonna ask him what does sex mean. But I, you know what I'm saying? But you know, because but but, but nonetheless, the point is how Shah was created by by a supposed wicked act. So does that make how Shah wicked? So you have to understand what you're talking about, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his basis was a fruit. Uh, oh, so sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His basis was a forbidden fruit. That's what he was. That's what he was yeah, he said it was it was yeah. an act of sex. He, he was saying ejaculation. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's right, right. that's completely about stupid. That, <laughs> that whole ejaculation stuff, that semen retention, it's, it's all kundalini. Like it goes back to Kemet. So. His religion is really based in uh, uh, Kemet or whatever, the, the full word, word, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to just call it Kemet for short, but that's what it all goes back to, that, that semen retention, and it, you know, it's really like man on man type stuff, for real, for if we really going to break it down, but we ain't got time for that. Narcissism, narcissism is just another perversion uh, of the Bible, that's man. Right, it's right, like, right, it's right, like right. Christianity and every form of it, it's just a perversion of the truth, man. That's, right. that's all it is, man. I got one precept. Okay. This is uh, Proverbs 17 and 4. Ooh, that's the right. wicked. Right. Do, do it giveth he to false lips. Mm, that's right. Yeah. And a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, right, so, he, right. And that, that's the reason why, and hey, that's fire because we say this all the time, people get offended. But really, if someone ain't in this truth, there's, there's something inside their spirit where the Lord didn't choose them because they wicked, that's right. man. That's right. All right, there's, there's some kind of guile in their spirit. We don't trust right. people that's not in this truth. Right. All right. I, I, got, I got a precept right quick because um, uh, Brother Abraham brought out John 4 and 24 earlier. That they must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. And then you have Brother Alon bring out the fruits of the spirit. All right. And, and the fruits of the flesh. The fruits of the flesh is he heresy, lies, all that false doctrine comes from the flesh. All right. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be able to bring out the truth. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 17. And thy counsel who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. All right. So you can't, you're not going to be able to preach the truth unless you got the Holy Spirit, man. All right, that's how we know. There's a scripture. If a brother could give me First John chapter four. Yeah, Romans. I got Romans two. Yeah, Romans. Um, what was that? Romans uh, ten or 10, 11? 10 verses one through three. Which that, we'll, uh, we'll come. We'll come right yeah. to that in a second. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna read that again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine and verse seventeen. And thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. All right. So you can't. You're not gonna be able to understand the scriptures. All right. And you're not gonna be able to speak the truth unless the Holy Spirit. Has been given to you. All right, which brings me to this precept right here, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby ye know the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh 
to me. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai is coming to flesh is of the Most High. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is coming to flesh is not of the Most High. That's right. And this is the spirit of the anti Hamashiach, the Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now it, it is already in the world. Okay, so that dude was coming in the spirit of the anti Hamashiach because we tried to show him that, that, that the Bible actually tells you what he looked like. And describes him in the physical. He said, "No, that's that's not that's symbolic. That's not that's not what it's talking about. That's clearly what it's talking about. And I proved that because multiple scriptures uh, tell you what the Savior looked like. Right. They describe his physical attributes. And he said, "No, that's not right. That's not that's not physical. That's spiritual. What we just read. Any spirit that comes that tells you that he did not come in the flesh, and that's not him in the flesh. That's of the Antichrist, man. So that dude was coming oh, in a I'll wicked see. Antichrist spirit. I'll turn right to it. Yep. Yeah, First John." Four, start from the top. I just read that. Oh, so I can. I, that's what I literally just. I just oh, read that. Yeah, okay. Now you good? That's, that's what I literally just read. Now you no. straight? You straight? Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, that, that that goes into it. But another thing I wanted to bring up too, but I had I was holding this other one, uh, about the guile, and I want to speak about that. You know, uh, 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 I want to speak about that that star riff fan he had across his neck as well. All right, but this is Second Peter three and ten. It says, uh, so like you. I think that was it. The first like you. First Peter. Hmm. First Peter chapter three verse ten. Brothers, lighten the common board, man. I'm gonna have to hit. I'm gonna have to hit this up. Go ahead, go ahead. Bring right, out the precepts, though. First Peter chapter three verse ten. It says, "For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile." We look up that word guile. It's a Greek word, the Greek or Latin term dolos. Right? And dolos means craft or deceit. Okay. So if you if you if you don't love your life. There's going to be guile in your spirit that, that, will, that, that will manifest through your tongue. That's right. So read this again. 1 Peter 3 and 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil right. and his lips that they speak no guile. That's okay? Right. right, right. So you don't, you don't for, uh, uh, first and foremost, you don't love your Yahweh by Shimei Shai if you're speaking guile. That's and right. you don't love yourself, man. Yep. You yep. don't love yourself enough to, to fear the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Not to speak anything evil that is contrary to the sound doctrine that can save your life. What's that precept? It says, "Those that that hate me love death." Uh, Proverbs yeah. eight and thirty-six. Hey, hey, bring bring up that um Romans uh, chapter ten. Romans ten. And then, brother, I now get me uh Zephaniah the third chapter, and we're getting ready to close out. Romans ten and fourteen. Yep. Now, while you getting that, let me let me read this precept on the, on the comment board. Hey, Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai Baruch Atah. All right, son of Yahweh Shai, one forty-four. Okay, he put up uh Second Peter chapter two and verse one. Son of Yahweh. Oh, my bad, Salakia. Son of Yahweh, 144. He put up 2 Peter 2 and verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there should be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring them upon themselves swift destruction. That's fire right there. Swift. 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 Yep. Every word in the Bible has meaning. Remember that. And I lined up with that Hebrews 4 and 12. Yep. Go ahead and bring out that Romans 10 book, Shah. It's the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 14. And it says, How then shall, shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? Not, the, that's, that's not, Romans 10 and 1. 10 and 1, Salah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the, uh, the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. Verse 2, for I bear the record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. Verse 3, it says, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Right, so so he was ignorant of the Lord's righteousness. He said, he said well, what is wickedness? I said, I said, it's going against the commandments that was given to Moses, all right, which came from the Heavenly Father himself. He says, he says, no, wickedness is ejaculation, right? <laughs> Ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, all right? Semitic. <laughs> right, exactly. That's a bunch of crap, man. No, okay. Now, I'm going to close out with this because this goes into what y'all what y'all said earlier about speaking guile, okay? The remnant is not going to have guile in their mouth. That's mm. right. Okay, so, brother, I know you guys definitely have three? I know, yeah. I think I yep. Uh, go ahead and start at verse, um, go ahead and start at verse 12. Zephaniah 3 and 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Right, that's talking about the elect, all right? right. The afflicted and poor people. Go ahead and read the next verse. 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. 
neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their, in their mouth. That's right. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Right. So it said, the remnant, okay, so that dude, he's just most likely not of the elect, unless he repents from that crap, man. But right. the remnant shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. They're not going to be coming with no, no bugged out, weirdo, false doctrine. But the Lord got him in that, he got him in that lot, because he's going to destroy that dude, man. Right. At least he repent. All right. Now you can stop there. I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read from here. I'm gonna take it from here. I'm gonna close out. Uh, Zephaniah three and verse um, fourteen. Sing, O daughter of Zion! Shout, O Israel! Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem! The Lord hath taken away thy judgments; He hath cast out thine enemy, the King of Israel. Even the Lord Yahweh is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt see no more evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion. Let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God is in the midst of thee. He is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love and he will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. That's right. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Okay, but the remnant will not speak lies nor do iniquity, as we just read. Okay, so if that dude don't repent from that, that bugged out nonsense, he's going to be destroyed, man. That's right. All right, but we're going to close out with that. Lord's will it was edifying. Medium tone, medium pace. Yep. And as always, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our power. The Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kapodash. And double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of the great millstone, who teach and who rule well. That's right. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or do they forbear. All right, until next time, shalom, shalom. shalom. and abide the ball. Kwam Yashirah! Kwam Yashirah! Kwam Yashirah! Kwam Yashirah! Kwam Yashirah!